so here's my d7000 nikon um, camera right i'm using it right now to do a uh, live streaming hdmi clean output with this so as you can see right now that's the output that is you know coming from the from the uh, the camera if i put my hand okay so i would probably put it right here so you can see as you can see right here i'm having this device that is making all you know the interesting stuff so how do you get your uh, d7000 um nikon to be able to i mean to be able to uh, um you know have a clean output hdmi as you can see i'm having right now the hdmi in the cable that rounds and that goes and that connect to my tv suite switcher and uh, basically what you got to do is uh to simply update the firmware that is inside and i'm gonna show you quickly how to okay so what you can see here is that um, i do have this which is the actual let me pull it out which is the actual um uh, the the original download okay for the item because of what you want to have you want to have the firmware that says the 103 one that one that uh oh that three now this one that will be the one that you will be using will you actually patch it so i have the the one here that is the original one okay and then inside of it i have this um uh you know d7000 uh what is that d7000 and dash zero one zero three that bin this is the actual one that you will put inside your sd card to be able to uh, update kind of you know is if if you have a uh, so if you have something that is a 1.0.4 or 0.5 you can still use this one and you know get the work done so anyway if i go back here you can see i have the version that is the patch one so I will upload this and get the link for you. What you have to do is you have to get this one, okay? That will be, uh, and then you want to rename by removing the patch and the underscore so that you would keep only the D7000 underscore 0103.bin inside your, um, your SD card and you put it at the root of your SD card. You know, once you open your SD card, you just want to um, drag directly into it. And once you do so, you put inside your, your, um, your. Okay, you can see here. This is my SD card. Okay, from my Nikon. This right here. I'm gonna use it. Um, you know, to put inside the patch item. So. So I'm gonna get this one. Okay, the one that says. Um, patch this one. Okay, you will find that into the. The download uh, folder or link that i will give to you so you get this one right and then you just go and then paste it inside your nikon um you know drive and you paste that inside like here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i already did it but i'm gonna delete this one okay i'm gonna delete this first one and also delete this one okay so now we have only this item inside and this one you want to be able to rename it so i'm gonna rename this okay i'm gonna rename this and then i will keep only the d7000 okay so i'll be renaming this way d7000 um dash 0103 that being so that's the one i'm gonna use inside the nikon tool patch so i can have a hdmi clean output so once you put in normally when you have done everything and then you know is a patch in and all that once you put in and then you put your camera what you want to do you want to use this one okay this latch here in order to open the video so you will be open, able to have this this way now i'm gonna show you how you patch the software so if you navigate down to the SD card, okay, down to the SD card, I, I mean to firmware version, okay, 
you would go there so once you get um the device inside you'll be able to see the update and then you will want to select you know update and then just start updating once you process the update um what you're gonna have let me actually show you how it's gonna happen so um just update you will see and um, whatever current that you have and the new that you have also and then you go ahead you update once you're done what happens is that um you will be able to see the update completing and you will need to wait until the update completes and after you have to shut off so last let's just you know demonstrate how it goes so how we go with this one and then hit okay so the update will be running this way it will take just a while you know but i'm gonna fast forward and then get back so now you just shut off your camera and then you wait a little bit like probably um let's say 30 second one minute so you're gonna turn on your camera right there you go so you have your camera on and you're ready so what you're gonna do is that if i take this one on there you go we have a clean view coming in right so i'm gonna turn this one off and i put in the i'm gonna put inside the the hdmi so i got my hdmi cable in i'm gonna get it ready so i just put this one in and as you can see we have back our our uh, hdmi output clean so uh, if, if anything doesn't work like if uh, it's not clean you just want to go inside your um you know your menu and then navigate to you want to navigate to hdmi okay and then here you will have the possibility of simply putting on device control off you know and stuff like that and that's all and you will have your clean stuff and you will be able to directly stream from the thing so that's the best way to have your hdmi out so as you can see i have my hdmi clean in my computer um i will maybe select here you can see here so i have it clean connected to um different devices the hdmi cable goes out of the of the of the camera and comes in it, it comes in my um tv switcher mini pro and that's the third cable right here okay so on camera three and then um, i run an output from here and i get the signal from this, this device that is a uh, mini recorder and um, which is connected um, in hdmi and output turnable two and i get it right here and boom i have everything that is uh, connected over here so that's pretty much how i do my setup with my um my nikon with my nikon d um 7000 so hopefully the video has helped you and let me know uh, if you have any comment just remember this has to be done with all the precaution i'm not responsible if anything breaks because you have to know that anytime you have a modified software or firmware it can cause a risk but i never had any problem i've been doing it over and over I tried it over and over, never had a problem. So just a disclaimer to let you know, you are responsible if you want to go this way. Thank you. Bye-bye.